I messed up. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So, in today's video, um, I want to talk about a ticket symbol AI. Again, this is a company that I profile here on the channel. If you guys remember, I did a video here where I talked about my three um, top IPOs for the month of December. In, in that video, I covered Airbnb, I covered DoorDash, then I covered C3 AI. So, um, when I did that video, in the projection, C3 AI price was going to come out somewhere around $34 to $37. And so I was excited because I knew at that price point, the company was totally undervalued. So I was excited because I wanted to get in and pick up some, some good shares. But then the stock actually came out and just went crazy. So I'm going to discuss that and then um, tell you guys what I'm thinking and where I'm going to start looking at getting into the stock into this video. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content c3 ai guys is uh one play that um i told you guys with all those um ipos if you guys go back and watch that video i said people are excited about doordash people are excited about airbnb not a whole lot of people are excited about c3 ai but i am excited about them because i understand the technology i know that this company is very very valuable and um my background is in technology so when i see stuff like this i get excited and that's why i wanted to i brought that to you guys i said this is my slipper pick if you watch that video that's exactly what i said i said of these three ipos um c3 ai was my slipper pick because i knew this thing was just going to go under the radar and explode and people would not see it but boy was that wrong um people caught they caught them and i'm like man i hate this so here's what happened so we can take back a month just just a past month because the stock actually got set trading in december this is what happened so the stock opened december 9 at a hundred dollar price point that is far from the 31 to 34 um a price point where that that was given during the ipo so it started at hundred dollars popped to 109 and I'm thinking like, no, 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 I wait for you to come back. So I did trade it a little bit. Look at that, pulls back to $90. And at this point, I didn't buy because I kept thinking, no, 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 that's still not good enough for me. That's still not a good entry point. So I'm gonna wait for it to pull back some before I get in. But the stock didn't pull back. It didn't, it just kept going up. So from that $90, it never looked back again. It's just squeezed all the way up to, look at that, a high of 125. That's December 10. And then pull back, if we look right here, December 15, pull back to 99 uh, briefly. And again, still right here, I'm thinking to myself like, nah, I still want a good entry point. That 99 is not good enough for me. And then from there, and this is the part where I really sat back and be like, I messed up. The stock went from that 99, just watch this thing go. So this is December 17, December 18. This is December 18, it went at 139. It, it, it didn't stop. Look at December 21st. It went up to 165 and I'm thinking, boy, what's going on here? Pull back a little bit, skyrocket to 174 in December 21st. And then finally got all the way up to about, let's see, what's that? 177. Man, this thing. And then since then, it's pulled back a little bit, which is good. So if we go back to what just happened like the past week, this is that pullback. And you pull back all the way down to. Um, so we see right here as 139. So it pulled down all the way to 139. Um, and again, I'm still looking at it's like, man, oh man, this is still pretty expensive for me. I, I don't like this. I want a good entry point. Now I'm sitting there really beating myself up because I got too greedy because I kept waiting for this thing to come back to me. And look at that, when it hit that 99 right there, that could have been a point where I could have said anything under $100, I should have started a position, even buying 10, 15, or 20 shares and just holding them. 
but I kept thinking like, no, I want to see this thing around 70 or 80 bucks before I even start taking the position. And I, I missed out on all of it. But again, guys, this is what happens in the market. Some opportunities come and you miss, you mess, you mess up on them. But the only thing is you have to pick yourself up and get ready for the next one because another opportunity is going to come again your way. So don't let this one knock you down. So, I mean, I'm still standing strong. I'm still watching this. Um, if I see it pull back a little bit more, then I'm going to start picking up some shares because this stock, um, at least this thing, if everything goes as planned in the next three or four years should be over $300 easy, um, from what I see. So again, that's my prediction. So, I mean, don't start leaving me comments and telling me, um, if, if I have any crystal ball, cause I don't have any crystal, but that's my prediction just cause I see what tech companies are demanding in the market and what these guys are doing is phenomenal. And I think that they're going to get to that point, that $300 price point in the next three years or so so again that's my personal opinion so let me know in the comment section did you buy um, a c3 ai or not did you miss out or did you mess up like i did again let me know in the comment section guys if you're new to the channel we talk about how to earn money how to save money how to invest and build wealth so if that's something that interests you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content and also guys the best way to support my work here there's several ways but just give that thumbs up and share this button this, this video with somebody that you think would find the content useful and as always guys always do your due diligence don't be a greedy savage and stay motivated